here today at the Blood of Our Children event? The event is called Blood of Our Children. The idea being that every day that unprecedented radical action isn't taken on climate change can be measured in the blood of our children. So the aim of Extinction Rebellion is for the government and media to speak the truth about the ecological state of our planet. A group of school children are going down and marching on Downing Street and then some very brave people are going to throw blood on the ground, fake blood, obviously. <laughs> They're going to be pouring the blood so that symbolically it's like the blood of the children that would be shed because of climate change, because it's such an issue that's not really being combated at the moment. So we need to do something about it right now, so that's why we're here. dissonance will be the killer of my generation. This is the blood of my children, of your children, and of the young people here today. People tell us, go back to school, become a politician, become a climate scientist. We have climate scientists and they are not being heard. We have politicians and they are not listening. The time for that is over. Climate change denial is not ignorance and it should not be framed as such. It is a scheme of propaganda coordinated and bankrolled by those with vested interests in not taking any action against climate change. I speak for the trees because the trees have no tongues. We need the press and the government to tell the truth. I have hope that as long as we keep demanding change and as long as the government listen, maybe Maybe I can have a future. Recently, there was a talk at Parliament about climate change, but only a small handful of people decided to turn up. And excuse my French, but I think that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> if we don't all rise up together, we're facing multiple issues. Maybe if we all do our part, and if the government decides to hear our voice, then maybe we'll have a future together. There will be droughts, flooding, and of course, seas full of litter, acidic and rising. We have to act now before it's too late. In other countries, they are being affected right now. They're being evacuated from their homes, separated from their families, suffering, starving, rationalizing their food. The government is profiting from fossil fuels and they're ignoring climate change. What are you going to eat? when the only thing left is money. I am afraid. My heart is broken and I am angry. I am angry for my family, for my friends, for those in the global south who are hurting and dying now. If there is kindness and love in your heart, you will reach out with a thousand hands to help others. If a mass arrest of people is what it takes for the government to recognise this as a crisis, then we will do it again and again and again until they take the responsibility. And so, in the name of love, of hope, of goodness, of peace and of justice, I am here and we are here. We who will not let our principles remain abstract. We must all act now and together to save the world. Never doubt that a small group of people can change the world indeed it is the only thing that ever has never doubt that a small group of people can change the world indeed it is the only thing that ever has